What's up, guys? Back at you with another one on today. This is Noble Sports Entertainment. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, then make sure you subscribe because on this channel, we talk sports, period. All right, guys, without further ado, we got breaking news out of Arizona on today. The Arizona Cardinals make two moves on today, and they're very, very solid moves. They ended up signing A.J. Green, former Cincinnati Bengal, to a one-year deal. Definitely that deal is worth a reportedly $8.5 million, with six of that being fully guaranteed. And then the Arizona Cardinals make a move to bolster that line to get it better for Kyler Murray to try to come out and have an MVP type of season next year. They ended up getting the three-time Pro Bowl safety from the Las Vegas Raiders for a third-round pick. And the Arizona Cardinals will get Rodney Hudson and a seven-round pick. Definitely, I think that's a solid move because the Arizona Cardinals – have to get better and they got to protect their uh their franchise quarterback Kyler Murray but solid pickup for the Arizona Cardinals on today to be able to get AJ Green to be able to grab a guy like Rodney Harris you got two veteran studs on this team so my take on this is what does this mean for Larry Fitzgerald has Larry Fitzgerald retired and we do not know about it is Larry Fitzgerald already in retirement because I think this signing kind of indicates a little bit which uh, direction Larry Fitzgerald is going into. But the team said that they're going to let Larry Fitzgerald decide where he goes and where he plays and what he's going to do with his career. So definitely, man, um, if Larry Fitzgerald decides to come back, um, he will still be on the team. They'll welcome him with open arms. But if he decides to retire, then he retires and moves on. And the Arizona Cardinals will rebuild and they will try to get better with the wide receivers. Definitely DeAndre Hopkins being the number one receiver. And also you got Christian Kerr who will probably move over to the slot. And A.J. Green will be your number two uh, receiver on the team. But definitely a strong pickup for Rodney Hudson, a guy that the Raiders have been trying to trade and trying to get rid of. And they finally found a way to uh, get rid of this guy. And definitely I think it's going to help Kyler Murray uh, have a successful season next year. The Arizona Cardinals look like they're going all out in the third season to try to get into the postseason and once they get into that postseason to uh so, to do some damage definitely man if the defense comes together this team can be a juggernaut in 2021 but i still think that it's some moves that they still got to make that's going to solidify what they're trying to do and i'm going to say it's coming from that corner position and it's also coming from the running back position now they have not stated yet guys what they're going to do with king and drake yet they still haven't said that and i just don't look at um, Chase Edmonds as a bell cow running back. Now, I'm not saying that he can't do it per se, but what I am saying is that I don't look at him that type of way. I look at him as, as a guy that'll come in and relieve you and things of that nature and a guy that plays well when he gets in. That's what we do know about Chase Edmonds. When he does get the opportunity, he makes the most of it. So definitely that's what I see out of him. He'll continue to do those things for the Arizona Cardinals. But I think that the Arizona Cardinals, it's time to draft that running back. Now, to me, if the Arizona Cardinals draft these running backs right here, I think that they will be okay. If they go out and get a Najee Harris, if they draft uh, a Chuba Hubbard, if they draft a, a Kalen Hill, if they draft a uh, Travis Etienne, uh, any of these guys, Kenneth Gainwell, I definitely think that the offense will be headed in the right direction because Kyler Murray is going to need help. He can't do it all by himself. And Kyler Murray shouldn't think that he has to do it all by himself. Definitely by having A.J. Green, he's going to be of a decoy on the team as well. And some of that attention is going to garner to him because he is a former Pro Bowl wide receiver. So he'll take some of the attention away from D-Hop. And then that'll open up things for Christian Kirk, too, on the offensive side of the ball. But I just can't wait to see what the Arizona Cardinals are going to do in the draft. I definitely think if they get a Najee Harris, uh, Man, skies is the limit, man, with this team because Najee Harris is a beast. So let me know, guys, if you're an Arizona Cardinal fan, how you feeling about today's pickup? And I'll be back to you soon. Peace.